it's uh, some updating uh, for me. Okay, let's uh, looking on the algorithm. I do some refactoring of the coding because uh, a lot of logic and I need to something organize. And so I created uh, agents uh, folder and inside in this uh, folder I have a model. It will be a base agent and another it would be uh, some agent with uh, single uh, neural, network, neural network and double neural network. Right now on the production website it's working with double uh, neural network but I guess it would be difficult for your laptop to train something uh, because uh, two neural network working in the same time. It is some current model and target model and I decided to, to skip this stuff because uh, we can achieve some positive uh, results, uh, some profit uh, with, without uh, some difficult models. Okay, let's look in. Uh, it is a base agent, it would be some single neural network uh, and let's look in what is so the most important for us uh, it is uh, how we are going to train our neural network so i created um, a folder with managers and inside in this folder it is a learning rate manager it is some advantage techniques uh, to train neural network and another it is a replay buffer it is also some advantages stuff and uh, strategy manager also advantages weight strategy and there are a lot of uh, kind um, how we can uh, execute uh, rewards let's look in let's see for example we, we can scale strategy we can scale out our position or we can uh, select between different strategy sometimes uh, our reinforcement algorithm would be working with breakout strategy Sometimes with momentum, min, min reversing, hedge strategy, range. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it should be improved uh, to work with volume, then follow. Okay, you see, it's a lot of stuff because market all times is changing, and the lot of opportunity how we can uh, trade uh, some situation. Sometimes we need to. Uh, to apply some impulse uh, strategies, sometimes I mean reversing, sometimes we should avoid new, sometimes we should trade in news. So, and for this reason, I create a lot of uh, small another strategies. And of course, it is a reward manager because uh, your uh, neural network is working um, if you train correctly with a reward function. And let's look in on some base agent. So data model, yeah, it is some parameters. Um, epsilon, gamma, um, how many epochs, and etc. Um, yeah, penalty rate also. Okay. And next, uh, we used uh, data model. It is your data. Um, right now it is data from Binance and I'm going to use uh, some indicators uh, what I built and then it is a replay buffer in this initial construction I do initial model okay it is uh, let's look in, on my uh, model it should be some simple model because uh, if it would be something big uh, we can uh, run it on browser it's crash okay so the first layer would be uh, convolutional neural network. It is 1D shape uh, right now. But uh, if we create something big, it would be difficult to train on the browser. And so it means uh, when we input uh, some data, we're trying to extract some useful function with a convolutional neural network. Uh, on my Python version, it is uh, 2D. Okay, next, uh, when we extract some useful function, it is uh, some feature, we, look, uh, we input it some LSTM layer, and then we just 
um, runs a recursive our neural network, it would be only one layer because if would be more layers, it would be also difficult to train on the browser. And another, uh, we need to, to uh, apply a dense layer because uh, we need to flat uh, from previous layers, and then it would be how many actions. It would be our output layers and it's linear function, and we should to apply some uh, repeat layers, and also we need to uh, units is uh, how many uh, actions. Uh, in my case, I have five or ten. I, I don't remember because uh, I'm when I have free time, I'm trying to update this one. Okay, it's a Hubert loss function. Okay, so next, um, the main logic, what is, it is uh, predict actions. How to predict actions? Uh, I need to, to get some state of the market. It, it, it is some indicators, yeah. And uh, from this state, uh, we're trying to extract some useful feature with a convolutional neural network, and then apply LSTM, dense, and we achieve some QLA function. And from this QVLA function, we find what is the actions. And we achieve this uh, way if we uh, find what is the, uh, the maximum Q value. Yeah. Yeah, it is a great idea to use to vice versa, you know, uh, instead of using uh, maximum Q value function, we need to look for also on Q minimum Q values because we need to understand what is the action we should to avoid yeah it's a good idea and uh, we can use it uh, to understand uh, our market more deeply and then yeah it is q value yeah it is uh, some big problem when you all times update your models um, sometimes uh, when you have a bad data or any another reasons uh, we can broke our uh, q value a function and there could be some no or none or infinity and if it happens uh, we can broke uh, our model so we need to check uh, if there exists some no null none infinity etc okay yeah it's sometimes also I find when I update multiply times I never on died and then it could be some problem with uh, infinity value. Okay, and next, um, of course, we need to store experience uh, and the store experience is our clever uh, reply buffer um, because I'm looking for what is the prioritize there. And then what is the choose actions? Of course, it is easy. We just need to find uh, what is the actions uh, from human language? For example, if you never want to predict uh, actions number two, what is the actions from your environment? It is a buy, or you should to scale out or scale in your long position, or vice versa, or you should to close position, or you should to wait, or hold. Okay, so I'm looking for what is the best actions. Okay, I need to implement uh, the some minimum, minimum, minimal, or, and min. I, I would like to look for uh, analyze some distribute actions uh, here. Great idea. So get state shape. It is some additional uh, method to understand what is the shape of your data. Okay, it is window shape, status position. Oh, okay, it is a great also idea because um, uh, to it is some uh, trips uh, to add uh, some additional informa information about your position to your state okay it's also a very useful approach how uh, you can Optimize your enforcer learning to achieve the best commodity returns of your trades. Okay, get best actions, it's easy. 
it is easy you see just uh, looking for what is the maximum value of our validation q values here and then well, let's look at what is it it is some get actions from uh, yeah it is uh, some uh, actions and sometimes uh, we need to uh, understand this valid actions or not and uh, let's look in another what would be useful for us get validation let's look in what is it okay yeah i'll just do some validation of my environment about uh, actions okay update coefficient um yeah maybe it would be useful to show you how it's working for example uh, when you train neural network let's look in what happens um okay it is yeah you see it is epsilon alpha gamma and etc and we need to manage all these parameters uh, to adapt your ai stuff for market and you see for example what is the actions short uh, close position what is take profit short i don't know what is here take profit short what is long okay it's good long let's look in here it's very interesting what happens huh. okay at previous short okay cool yeah we take some profit and let's look in what happens here long long take profit long again trying to fix it our position okay stop loss short uh, it's very interesting how what it would be the reaction on the impulse okay yeah it's some bad yeah stop loss short and exit from uh, position by stop loss okay so only first of all so what i'm trying to explain it is uh, update coefficient like you see we update our epsilon uh, step by step we decrease our epsilon but on my system for example if you if i have uh, some bad experience i'm trying to uh, increase my exploration of environment and do some more random actions uh, to understand uh, what is new strategies like momentum or breakout uh, and that's what i show you recently would be more applicable yeah okay gamma uh, of course uh, we're trying to looking for what is the uh, yeah i need to improve this one stuff I, i'm explaining you so it is uh, long-term rewards or short-term rewards and sometimes we need to look for long-term re rewards and uh, depends of situation on the market and here i need to create some more clever stuff what exists right now okay uh reset coefficient yeah i need to see this uh, coefficient um sometimes load model yeah uh, storage uh, my model on browser and the db what else is saved model course here oh yeah i need to target q value mm. okay one second yeah i need to, to rename some stuff target q value okay it is a uh, billion equation we just update uh, optimize our q value yeah it is very uh useful for me stuff to update prioritize my reply buffer 
do some visualization. Of course, when I do the visualization, the training processes will slow. Okay, let's look in for. I need to explain something. Okay, it is a book. It is uh, some stuff for updating models by WebSocket. Uh, if your model not working, you need to do something. You need to look for application and then looking for IndexedDB and just delete this model because sometimes I, I do updating a number of shape or, or something, another logic, and I just need to reseed these uh, uh, models. Maybe I need to implement something to do it automatically. Okay, guys, I think it would be useful for you for some process developing for reinforced learning and keep in touch. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.